This is a tractor tyre and the focus for the next event. The competitors have to flip it down a 15 metre course. Bill, technically, you could still get into the final at this stage, couldn't you? Uh, that'd have to be a miracle, actually, for me to get into the final. Um, one of the things is I've got a real bad injury to my tricep and lateral torn. Ooh, that so looks painful. Every time I pick something up, it hurts. So, but I'm doing my best, like I've been doing all the way through. Each one weighs 300 kilograms. That's about the equivalent of 20 ordinary car tyres. What a way to finish your first World's Strongest Man, thanks to Doug Edmonds, the referee and designer of these events. Ready? Well, that's the easy part over. Bill and Colin fighting for pride here and perhaps even the right to be invited back next year. Well, Colin already just easing ahead on the first flip. So Bill Piddock has got a bit of work to do. Now this is the big lift here. Colin going well. Another flip for Bill Piddock. He's really worked hard during these days in World's Strongest Man. Colin Cox is going for victory. No doubt about that. Well, it looks as though Bill Piddock has had enough. Now, come on, Colin, over the finishing line. It's a good time as well. That's a great finish for this Maori, who's drawn level with Bill overall. No breakfast, it's a bit tough. <laughs> Eat a lot now, though. <laughs> and he deserves it as we get ready for the last act. Were you a little disappointed with the last performance? Yeah, I was a bit, yeah. I thought I'd do better than that, but... I can't lie, my injuries didn't bother me there, so just too knackered, basically, to do it. Well, last week we saw a similar situation when Wayne Price and Gary Taylor virtually just had to turn up to the last event to qualify for the final. They strolled through that event. But I must admit, Herit Bardenhorst and Heinz Olesch really look here as though they mean business. <laughs> Colin's time to beat is 54.3 seconds. And Heinz already going well. He's making light of the fact these tyres weigh as much as both of those lorry engines we saw in the first event. He's creeping ahead of Herit, who's had two magnificent victories so far to the German single win. That was in the Bavarian rock lift. But this last flip by Herit was really fast and Heinz is going to spot him drawing level just out of the corner of his eye. Uh, Herit is going in for the kill. He's actually shouting at Heinz to get a move on. I don't know where he's found the energy from. He's done it again, and now he's really milking the crowd. The time is going to be very fast. And that is one confident strongman. Badenhorst with victory number three. Heinz just needing one more flip of the wheel to finish. That looks as though it's just one flip too far. Total exhaustion, but at least he can look forward to the final. A magnificent effort by Heinz. He beats Bill Pittock. Maori Colin Cox is second and another first for Herit Badenhorst. The South African demonstrating fantastic strength this week with a near-perfect score and Heinz Oles joins him in the final, his first in World's Strongest Man. We've almost had maximum points from all four events, so you yeah. must be feeling very confident going into I'm the fit. final. I'm fit this year. And, uh, but, I mean, you can, you, can, you can never tell in the strongman competitions. Events. It's different, and uh, anyone can still win. You're a very comfortable winner of this heat, though. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm feeling positive. Well, for his first competition, Bill Pittock certainly put up a spirited performance. He may have failed to qualify, but he certainly didn't disgrace himself. In the end, though, it was the all-round strength of Herrit Badenhorst from South Africa and Heinz Olisch from Germany, which carried them through to the final. Thanks for tuning in to World's Strongest Man on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can catch all the up-to-date information and stay tuned on how strong and pretty I am, obviously. Don't miss it.